dreaming of rolling hills, vineyards, and sapphire blue skies, then Tuscany is the place for you. This beautiful and historic region is home to some of the most beautiful cities in Italy and is also known for producing some of the finest wines in the world. Join us as we explore the top 10 best places to visit in Tuscany. At number 10, we begin our journey with Montepulciano. This medieval hill town, perched on a sloping and narrow limestone ridge, is known for its rich history and charm. The town's main square, Piazza Grande, is one of the most beautiful squares in all of Tuscany. Here you'll find its historic Renaissance buildings, including the town hall and the church of Sant'Agostino. One of the most popular things to do here is to visit a wine cellar and sample the local wines. The town is famous for its Vino Nobile di Montepulciano, a full-bodied red wine that's perfect for sipping on a warm summer evening. Be sure to wander through the narrow streets, stop for a coffee at a local cafe, and just enjoy the lively atmosphere. At number nine is Siena, a classic medieval hill town that's sure to invite you in with its winding streets, charming piazzas, and delicious food. One of the most iconic landmarks in Siena is the Piazza del Campo. This large, fan-shaped piazza is located in the heart of the city and is home to the Palio, a famous horse race that's held twice a year. And it's impossible to miss the Torre del Mangia, a bell tower at the heart of the Piazza del Campo. At its top, you'll be treated to stunning views of the town and surrounding countryside. Siena is also home to a vibrant culinary scene, bustling with rustic trattorias that serve traditional Tuscan cuisine. Number eight, Pisa, a city known for its famous Leaning Tower. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is the most iconic landmark in Pisa and a must see for any visitor. But the city is home to other famous attractions as well, including the Pisa Cathedral and the Pisa Baptistery. Be sure to also visit the Piazza dei Cavalieri, a beautiful square that was once the center of Pisa's political power. Here you'll find the Palace of the Knights of the Holy Spirit, a Renaissance-era building that's now a museum. Truly a place where you can feel swept back in time, Pisa offers a unique glimpse into Italy's history. At number seven, San Gimignano, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This medieval walled hill town is sure to charm you with its towering skyline and delicious cuisine. One of the most iconic landmarks in San Gimignano is its 14 surviving medieval towers. These towers were originally built by wealthy families in the Middle Ages as a status symbol, but today they're a popular tourist attraction as they create the town's distinctive skyline. Also, here is the Museo Etrusco, an archaeological museum that houses a collection of Etruscan artifacts, including pottery and jewelry dating back to the 7th century BC. Lastly, this town is home to the Collegiata di Santa Maria Assunta, a church dating back to the 12th century. This landmark is an example of classic Romanesque architecture and also contains a collection of beautiful frescoes. Here you can lose yourself in the vibrant colors, fine lines, and exquisite beauty. At number six is Lucca, a city that's famous for its miles of surrounding walls. It's one of the best preserved medieval towns in the region and is a must visit for any traveler to Tuscany. Lucca's walls were built in the 13th century to preserve the city's integrity, but are now popular as a greenway loop for walking, biking, and rollerblading. Notably, the second longest stretch of walls in all of Europe, they also contain several underground bastions that can be toured. One of the other iconic landmarks in Lucca is the Guinigi Tower. This 14th century tower is topped with a garden of trees and offers amazing views of the city and surrounding landscape. Be sure to also wander through the city's many picturesque streets and tiny piazzas while you're here. 
and enjoy its lively local culture. Number five, Cortona, a charming hilltop town. Here you'll find the Museo dell'Accademia Etrusca, a museum that houses a collection of Etruscan artifacts, as well as the Church of San Francisco, which is known for its famous relics. Cortina is also home to a number of galleries that showcase contemporary works of art, making it a popular destination town for artists and writers. Enjoy shopping along the Via Nazionale and Piazza della Repubblica, wandering along the town's narrow side streets and having a glass of wine at one of the town's local restaurants. Lastly, no trip here is complete without basking in the stunning countryside views offered from the famous Piazza Garibaldi and Piazza del Duomo. At number four is Livorno, a bustling port city known as the Gateway to Tuscany. This city is famous for its Venetian canals, which were built in the 16th century. Lined with vibrant shops and colorful houses, these canals make for a charming sight. Other notable landmarks here are Livorno's Old Fortress and New Fortress, built in the 16th and 17th centuries, respectively. These fortresses have been preserved and remodeled into museums, and they offer stunning views of the city and the sea. And while you're here, be sure to head over to the popular Terrazza Mascagni Promenade, where you can enjoy a relaxing stroll along the coastline. Beginning our top three is Val d'Orsha, a picturesque valley that's famous for its rolling hills, cypress trees, and endless fields of sunflowers. It's a beautiful place to visit at any time of year, but it's an especially stunning place for watching the Tuscan sunset. Val d'Orsha is a popular destination for photographers and painters alike who come from all over the world to capture its scenic landscape but it's also a great place to hike, bike, and horseback ride. One of the best things to do in Val d'Orsha is to visit its many vineyards and sample the local wines. This region is known for its Brunello di Montalcino, a full-bodied red wine that's perfect for sipping on a warm summer evening. A perfect place to just relax and enjoy the simple things in life. This valley is a must visit for any traveler. At number two is Florence, the heart of Tuscany, known for its art, history, and culture. The city is home to some of the most iconic Renaissance landmarks in the world, including the Duomo, the Uffizi Gallery, and the Ponte Vecchio. Formerly the Cathedral of St. Mary of the Flower, the Duomo Cathedral began in 1296 in the Gothic style, and took almost 150 years to finish. Officially completed in 1436 and renowned for its majestic dome architecture, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is one of the most famous tourist attractions in all of Italy. Next, the Uffizi Gallery, one of the most well-known Italian museums. Celebrating the Renaissance and the age of free expression, this museum boasts several priceless collections. Founded by the House of Medici, the Uffizi Gallery is a must-see for anyone interested in art or history. Lastly, the Ponte Vecchio, an iconic medieval stone arch bridge that's notable for its closed architecture. Here you'll find a popular location for shopping as vendors famously set up along the bridge itself. But Florence is more than just a museum city, it's also an active and exciting place to live and visit. With its streets being home to a variety of shops, cafes, and restaurants, the city offers its own vibrant and bustling culture. And at number one, we have the Chianti Classico wine region. Located between the larger cities of Florence and Siena, it's known for its beautiful countryside, charming villages, and world-renowned wines. One of the best places to start your trip to this region is with the town of Greve. In the center of this picturesque village, you'll find a well-preserved medieval piazza, 
famous for its triangular shape and shops. Then head to Castellina, home of the magnificent Rocca de Castellina Castle. Here you can take a tour of its museum and enjoy stunning views of the countryside from its top. Lastly, make your way to Gaiole, home to the renowned Broglio Castle, the birthplace of Chianti Classico. This 12th century castle, located in the heart of the Chianti Classico wine region, offers tours of its gardens and tastings of the castle's wines, made from grapes grown on its own vineyards. Here you'll also find the Barone Riccasoli Winery. Founded in 1141, this winery produces a variety of wines, including the famous Chianti Classico Riserva. Boasting some of the most beautiful scenery and finest wines in all of Tuscany, the Chianti Classico wine region is a must-visit for any traveler. That's all for our top 10 best places in Tuscany. We hope you enjoyed the video and found some inspiration for your next trip. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, Glamorous Getaways, for more travel inspiration. Thanks for watching.